planets. Jupiter. Which one's Jupiter? The big one. Seven. The biggest one? Is that the biggest one? Yeah. What's the biggest thing on here? The, the sun. sun. The sun. And what are these planets doing? Orbiting. They're orbiting. If you look closely, what do you see right here? UFO. <laughs> no, not that. Right here. It's like it goes all the way around. The orbits? Asteroids. Yeah. Asteroids. The Kuiper Belt. What's, what did you say? The what Kuiper is it Belt. The Kuiper Belt? Or the Asteroid Belt, right? For another name for it? Awesome. What is that thing that you saw earlier, Mary Kay? What was it? Oh, look, here it is again. Whoa. Is it a satellite? Aliens? Aliens? What else? What else could it be? Guys, it's a comet. A comet. So what a comet is, a comet is an ice, a comet is made up of ice, dust, and gases that are believed to be left over from the formation of the solar system. And so gas and dust trail behind, which are heated up, and that's why you see the, the tail of it being lit up. So what we're going to do today is we're going to review from last week. So what are these planets doing around the sun? Revolving. Revolving, right? And the path it takes is called its... Orbit. Orbit. Good job. And so what, what path does the orbit take? Is it a circle? No. no. What is it? An ellipse. An ellipse. Good. Today for our activity, we are going to play a board game. Woo! Yay! We're going to pretend like we're lost astronauts in space trying to get back to Earth. But before we start playing, it's important that we go over the rules. So I posted them on the dot cam, and you'll also have a handout of them for each of you to have at your desk. So our goal is to get both players, you and your partner, back to Earth, plus fill in as many spaces in the planet's worksheet as possible. Um, you're going to be working in groups of four, two partners on each team. Um, and each group will receive four game pieces, which will be little tiny fuzzy pom-poms that we'll pass out in just a second. A game board, dice, and a set of facts, question, and chance cards. Um, before we begin playing, everybody will get one fact card to fill out on their planet's worksheet. Each player will roll. Whoever gets the highest number will start, and they'll continue counterclockwise. You can only win if you and your partner make it exactly back to Earth, or if we call time, and whoever's further, whoever's closer to Earth wins. Um, it's important that you land exactly on Earth, so if you are one space away and you roll a two, you can't move because you need one. Okay, um, we're going to pass out the supplies, and I'm going to leave the instructions up here as we play. Let's get started. So what is the shape that the Earth takes as the path around the sun? An ellipse. Good. I'm glad you guys know that by now. And the, what keeps them in their orbit? Gravity. 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 Good. Yeah. Is the sun the center of the ellipse? No. 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 Good. So how long does it take for the Earth to orbit all the way around the sun? 365 days. days. And what is that? How long is that? A, A year. year. One year. Good job. So, what are some of the physical properties that help to identify planets? Their color. Color. Anything else? Size. Size. Maybe location. Distance from the sun. Right, their location, that's the distance from the sun. Um, what about, like, say, Earth's air or Jupiter's, yeah. Good, atmosphere. So, what is one feature that distinguishes Jupiter from, Jupiter from all the other planets? It's the biggest. It is the biggest. And it has what? A red spot. The great red spot. And it has four Galilean moons. And these are all stuff that you saw while you were playing your game. These are all the facts that you came up with. So, we're just going to skip ahead and what, why is Pluto not a planet anymore? It's too small. 
It's too small. Any other reasons? It doesn't really have an orbit. Right, it doesn't have a clear neighborhood of an orbit. So things cross into its orbit, and so it can obstruct its path. And that's why it's not a planet anymore. Aww. So I think you guys are ready to answer our question of the day, which was, what are the physical properties of the various planets and how do they move? So I'm going to let you guys talk about it for, with each other for 30 seconds and we'll come back together. Okay, so Mary Kay, what did you guys come up with? Um, the properties are atmosphere, color, and size. Right, and then how do they move? How do these planets move? In an ellipse shape. In an ellipse. Good job. So we've talked a lot about space, the planet, asteroids, comets. Let's discuss some of the ways we can affect and travel into space. So there are lots of jobs that can get you into discovering planets and stars. Can you guys think of any? An astrophysicist. Astrophysicist? An astronaut. Astronauts? Anything else? What about engineers? Astronomers who look at the stars and map them? Engineers that build the rocket ships? So the first successful human space flight was in 1969 on a ship called Apollo 11. And since then we've sent several other missions to space so we can collect information and bring it back to Earth. If you guys were in charge of the NASA space program, what would you make your most important mission? I'm going to give you 20 seconds to talk with your groups and brainstorm. Okay guys, what did you come up with, Edward and Andrea? I would have us mine for resources on uh, large comets and asteroids. Very cool. What about you, Andrea? Same thing? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Very good. This, is, this will conclude our elaborate.